let's talk about the thought process behind uh, filling one rectangular grid in which we have to fit in these words it's like a crossword and now this this is a backtracking algorithm and we will just look at the thought process how do we analyze the problem because this seems like a little difficult problem and many people get scared the intent of making this video is to get you a step by step approach so that you can first think without worrying about the code and once you have thought about it then you gradually take it to the next level so don't rush to code immediately until unless you understand the approach well so so there is a grid and there are there is a list of words that we want to fit into it so this problem we can think in two directions first direction is let's say the way to visualize is we want to fill n words in the grid because the number of words it is like i'm just estimating how much work we need to do so i i want to define the problem in terms of size so we can have problem in such a way that fill n words in grid what this means is we will be starting with list in mind so we will pick the first word and we will try to figure out where to fit in and there are multiple options for first word to be put in it can be put here it can be put here here or here so it it means like we will try to fit act in this cell and we will move ahead then we will try to fit act in this and we will move ahead then we will try to fit act in third place and we will move ahead and then we will try to put act in fourth place and then we will move ahead and try recursively the same thing so first we are trying to fill n words once the first word is fitted let's say act i fill here then i have to worry about filling n minus 1 word so that is my state transition that is my recursive call so you see original problem size is n as we move along we will try to reduce n to n minus 1 then n minus 2 and so on and we stop once n becomes 0 so this is one way of thinking and here if you see list is the focus because which word we are picking from the list and placing that is how we are going ahead second option is we do not worry about the given list what we worry about is we worry about the empty cells that means we are defining the size of the problem in terms of how many cells have to be filled so here it was fill n words in the grid so we are picking the words and putting here and second is fill n cells in grid using list now how the second approach is different is here we will not rely on the given list here we need little different data and our data should be in such a way we should have a a list of you can say list of tasks now what is this task thing this task is essentially collection of or you can say this list of task is a collection of the work that we have to complete so if you see here i have one range here to fill so this is one task for me filling this area is one task so the way i can define this task is i can say 0 1 2 so this is 0th row second column this is my starting point and i have to go in horizontal direction my first task becomes this and i need to first create this list because i need to come i need to pick a task from the list and complete it another task completed so earlier n was the word list size and here uh, n is going to be this this task list size ideally the both are same but you will see that there is a big difference in if we start with first approach versus second approach so let's first manually collect all the tasks that we have that we want to complete so 0 2 horizontal that is one then we have this is 0 1 1 cell and this is also 1 1 1 and we are filling that vertical so 1 comma 1 comma vertical then we have 0 1 2 this is 2 comma 1 so second row first column and we want to fill that horizontal and then we go to this which is 2 comma 3 0 1 2 3 so we have to start at second row third column and we have to go vertical so now this is our criteria list this is the 
task with, that we are going to complete. And we will essentially see the thought process for both. Okay, so once we have seen that out of two approaches, first of course we have to make a choice to go with any one approach. So let me start with two because that is a little complicated. So let's first try to visualize with that. And we will assume our matrix and our list of words is globally available to us. And we are worrying about uh, picking up one, one task at a time from this list and completing. So let's begin as our first approach visualization. So, yeah. so if I bring this here, we are picking our first task and first task is zero to horizontal. So our goal is to go and fill this. Now, if you see what are the possibilities to be filled here, now we need to have the list of words that we were using. So act, rat, caught, top. So act, rat, caught, and top. Let's start with first word because anyways, we will try every word to be placed here. So let's take the choices. For zero to horizontal, what is our choice to fill? We can say act is our first choice. So I'm going ahead with act and I will be bringing in one more box and I will call that act is the first thing we are filling. Okay, so now earlier we were supposed to fill n tasks. This is n tasks. And now it reduced to filling n minus 1 tasks. And when we are going to n minus 1 tasks, we also have to remember that the word which we have already filled, which is act, we don't want to select it again. So one way we can mark it is we can just take a Boolean array and where we can mark the index of the word that we have already taken from the list. Second way is uh, for now just move it to the end of the list by doing just a swap and that way we will not be considering the last word. As we go down, we will be considering only first n minus one words. Okay, either way is fine. In, in approach, let's just strike it off. It tells that this is taken. Okay, so next, so we are done with zeroth task. So here zeroth task is completed. Now we are left with uh, three tasks. So let me go with the first task now. Here we, we are left with what? Let me just put index is zero. Zeroth task is taken care here. Now we are taking care of task number one. And task number one suggests that we have to fill one one vertically. Now for one one vertically, the choices that we have are rat, coat and top. So let's go with the first choice. Let's go and say like we are filling rat here. So if I bring in one more box here. So we are, act is already filled. And now we are filling rat. Once we have filled the rat, this is also marked that we have filled that. And now we are going to consider the task at index index two. So if you look at the tasks at index index two, that is the consideration. Then the word is to be started from two one and it has to be filled horizontally. So the next word, if I see, it is quote. If I pay attention here, can I fill quote here? Answer is straightforward, no, because whatever word comes here, it must start with A. So this is not a valid choice. So quote cannot be filled here. Same way, if I look at the next word, next choice, can I fill top here? Answer to that is also no. So this brings us to a dead end. Our tasks are not completed and we are not seeing any more choices. So at this moment, we backtrack. We go and tell back, hey, we don't have a solution possible. And that means the choice that we had taken here to fill rat was a wrong choice. So we are deadlocked at the first choice that we made here. Okay. And when you are going back, of course, we have to mark them as unvisited also because uh, we can pick that word later. So now if I go with a quote choice, if I fill COT, then rat should be a next available choice. Valid or not, we'll see later. But when we are going down, we are marking them visited. When we are going back, we are we have to mark them unvisited also. Okay, so rat is done. It, it did not lead us to solution. So after that, the next choice was quote. 
So let's go with quote as the next choice. If I'm filling quote in in this index, then then the words will look something like at quote. Now uh, here we have to worry about task number index two which is H -O, uh, horizontally to be filled here and the words that we are left right now if you see act and quote are done we will look at the visited words from our uh, matrix itself these two words are done then we are left with rat can we fill rat here answer is no can we fill top here answer is no so this is also not a valid solution path so we go back backtrack and say hey come back to the previous state where act was filled and remaining three tasks still have to be completed. Now we take our third option, third choice. And third choice here was, if rat has been tried, quote has been tried, now we have to try top. So let's go ahead and see if top will take us to the right solution. So I will put act here and we will put top here. Okay. Now again for top also we see that remaining words are rat and quote. So rat cannot come here, quote cannot come here. So this task, task number two is not completable here also. So we revert back. So none of these options led to the solution. And if you notice after act, in order to fill this uh, horizontal, this vertical line, there were only three options and we have tried all of them. And none of them led us to a solution. So this tells us that this path was not a valid path which would have led us to the solution. So we go back to the first step and say that you started with a choice of act which is not leading to the solution. Now you go and try the next option in filling your zero to horizontal cell. So act is not a valid solution path. So let's go and try now the second choice for task zero. Second choice for task zero, let me take it as a rat. So if we are filling rat here, then we are in a state where rat is filled. Now the next place we have to fill is one one vertical, which is this. And the choices that we have are act. So let's go with the first choice of filling act here. And if I take act, then the grid now gets modified to rat on top and act here. Now after act, then we come and look at the task number two. It is two, one horizontal. So we have to fill this. And the next word that we are seeing, which is available, we are seeing is quote. Quote can be filled here. So let's go with quote as one of the choice. So we have rat. We have act and we have code. Okay. Now we are left with last task two, three, which is vertical. So for vertical, if you see the next word remaining is top. So we go with top here it was got. And when we fill top here, so top will be filled here. So eventually you see that all tasks are actually complete. So index zero task we picked here index one we sorry index zero was yeah index zero was the target here where we chose to fill that index one was target here where we chose to fill act index two was target here where we filled quote index three was target here where we filled top and now if you see when we come here our index will become four and four is the index which which is not even there in the list that means we have completed all 0, 1, 2, 3 tasks. And at this moment, if you reach at IDX4, you can declare this as a success that yes, we got a solution. And this says yes, we got a solution. This says yes, we got a solution. Yes, we got a solution. So we can stop here. And essentially, our solution grid that we have generated from this path, we don't have to continue to try more options after this. So this is a standard backtracking way and if you see right side I have a solution and this was the solution for this this grid that we can fill act quote top rat. 
And in this strategy, if you pay attention that aim of defining our task was filling the places. So we estimated our tasks in terms of places in the grid. Now, the second choice that I was mentioning, we could have also thought of this problem as that these are the words we have to fill, find the right place for act. So that would be second strategy, which I'll be covering in a separate video. Or you may take that as an exercise and you may want to first try it yourself. How will you visualize the problem if your goal was not to complete these tasks and your goal was to fit in one word at a time. And for each word, there are multiple possibilities and going ahead with that would give you one more approach.